and it's set up correctly. Uh, so as you can see, uh, Amaterasu is playing as uh, Blue Empire and Fenrir is playing as Red Fallen. So this is once again going to be a really interesting thing. Uh, we already saw a matchup uh, of uh, Fallen against Empire. That was the first matchup between Matt and, uh, and Soul Skipper. Where Matt won with the Hive Guards mainly, flying units. Uh, good luck, have fun. A really iconic thing from RTS games, usually Warcraft. Uh, we see a quick farm here, blocking the path. I would say it's still more common to build barracks for us, but uh, at least he's blocking the path, so definitely something to look at. Uh, I can see some bats in the chat, but I don't see the uh, bed window anymore, so we'll see after the game. Uh, going for a quick hive. This is really interesting. I probably never saw this building the deformer like on the side, so you can kind of build uh, behind the, your town and or like next to it instead of in front of it, which is usually preferred because you can block the path to your villagers. Right now, uh, Amaterasu you can just walk here with his swordsman and start harassing the harvesters with no buildings uh, blocking his way. And uh, finally building the barracks. Um, yeah, I cannot really see the if you wrote me already if the sound was uh, bad in game or outside of it. So I don't know if you, I should fix it. But to be honest, uh, the in-game sound for me right now feels really low. I can barely hear the music. Of course, I don't know how it's on the stream, but for me it's really low. So. I would actually bring it up a little bit, but let me know if this is fine for you. I mean, the sounds are quite okay, but the music is almost unhearable for me. We can see a soul trap. Okay, this is really interesting because soul trap is the alternative to uh, to upgrading the town hall for Empire. So that's the alternative for Fallen. So definitely going for some advanced units really quickly. Also building an incubator. Of course, making some high stingers to explore the map. Uh, while Amaterasu is exploring with uh, peasants. Which is actually quite common, but you can definitely also do it just with swordsmen. It won't slow you down that much. And he's going for an El Elven Century. So definitely expecting some Valkyries here. Or maybe just Phoenixes, because he saw the first game and is uh, preparing for some Hive uh, Guard rush. A definitely good setup, but basically unpushable with five stingers. He just needs like two swordsmen here and he should be fine. Both of them exploring. Uh, I think Fenrir already saw the farm, so he knows that the that Amaterasu is right here. While he doesn't have an idea where the Fallen might be. He's still running to the corners, or I mean he was already down here, so once he explored this area he will already know that uh, the enemy must be in this area. He finished the soul trap and uh, is building another hive, so <laughs> that's actually quite interesting. I was expecting a vengeance hall or maybe even a dimensional gate, but uh, fine. Uh, not producing any harvesters. We can actually uh, check the populations 25 and 21. Uh, going for upgrade to stone keep, so I'm actually expecting some Valkyries now. It would make sense. Spending resources on more farms, also definitely smart. Uh, I think yes, the right amount of villagers here. Maybe a few more peasants on gold would be fine, but he's still building, so that's okay. And he definitely need to upgrade his stone keep now. Uh, exploring here, okay, he found where he is, or he didn't see any buildings, but I mean it's quite obvious. And he didn't see any buildings on the other uh, positions, so it's actually... He can be pretty sure that the enemy is right here. I mean, building a soul trap so early is really good in terms of gathering experience, because Fallen has this special ability that he's uh, gathering collective experience for all of his units, so building a soul trap is really important, otherwise you cannot level up your units. But I would say it's if he already builds it, it's just better to go for some advanced buildings. 
Maybe he's going to build a deformer, yeah, just to increase his space, even though he has space here. Maybe he's just gathering gems and then he's going to spend them on some uh, material arcs or uh, Avengers, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we are going for the Valkyrie beacon here. So, as I said, we can, we will see definitely some Valkyries. Uh, now is the question, is he going to be prepared for that? I mean Fenrir. Because usually do, you don't expect uh, a rush of flying units from Empire against Fallen. So, I don't know how this is going to work. But, mm, I mean, he has one Hive Spitter. He's making a Vengeance Hall. I'm afraid he's going to uh, go for Avengers. And uh, that is going to be his doom. Even though Avengers are extremely durable against Valkyries, he's just not going to have enough units to actually kill the Valkyries. If he actually build the Valkycoon, he could upgrade flying for Hive Stingers and then he would be fine. But for now he's just producing few Hive Spitters and that's probably not going to work too well for him. Amaterasu is building another Elven Sanctuary. And he's still pretty well protected here with six swordsmen and a really good setup. I would still probably consider building a temple right here behind the barracks, so it heals the swordsmen at least. But he's just going full on, uh, full in on those Valkyries. Population is still quite balanced. Just one scout really quickly. A really interesting deformer. I don't see the point of this. Or I mean, it's definitely uh, important because it will be healing his units if he fights here, but uh, I would definitely build the buildings around and maybe even some towers or, bi or expansion or anything, but he's just creating this huge uh, fallen place or area. Actually only five peasants or five harvesters on gold. I usually go for six as fallen, but okay, this won't be slowing him down that much. We can see two Valkyries already made. One more is being produced here. We must build more farms, my lord. Yeah, so he's just going to accumulate some more Valkyries and then probably just attack him. And he's actually going for expansion, so you can definitely see uh, some planning right now. Uh, by the way, also let me know if you uh, see everything right, uh, if the stream is uh, not laggy or anything, or you see the resolution right there, just uh, all the technical issues so we can get them out of the way. Because I see everything uh, correctly, but I am looking on OBS right now, so uh, it is not laggy there, but maybe on the Twitch it can translate a little bit worse, I don't know, so uh, just confirm that so you can see everything right and you don't have any major lags or stuttering or I don't know, blur. <laughs> uh, I mean, if he waits really long with the Valkyries, potentially this expansion could be finished and he's actually going for some nightmares, which is really good because that is going to help him against the Valkyries. Definitely more than if he did some uh, other units in the Vengeance Hall. Building complete, my lord. But the problem here is that uh, he has like three units against flying units and once the Valkyries move I don't think he will be able to destroy them. He's actually making phoenixes so he definitely expects some hive guards which is smart because most fallen would make hive guards actually especially against humans we saw it in the first game against Empire but uh, it didn't happen in this game so the phoenixes are to be honest just a total waste of resources for now also time but probably not going to affect it too much. And I mean, he also has the Swordsman, so he can kill the units even faster. Although they will be probably just stopped by the Hive Stingers. Uh, building Towers, definitely a smart decision. Without him even knowing, maybe, but... Yeah, because he didn't see the Valkyries yet, he has no idea if... And he's not exploring anything. I mean, here is one Hive Stinger, but... Actually, okay, uh, I take it back, he has one high stinger here, I didn't see him. Uh, so he would know about an expansion, but uh, it still doesn't give him like a clear knowledge of the Valkyries. 
because uh, the human could be still accumulating some catapults here or something. So Valkyries are not the only option. And they are finally moving. He seems pretty confident. I would definitely just send one Phoenix there to explore the area. But okay, he's just going for it. Uh, I mean, here are zero towers. Also the units are on the side. So if he just flies around, he can actually just start harassing those harvesters. And yeah. I mean the units even moved to this area for no reason because now he's not protected by the towers that are in this area. And since he doesn't have the wild cocoon, all those hive stingers are totally useless for now. And I mean it's definitely strong. The frost shield is giving you free armor, which is really powerful against Valkyrie. I actually think it's maybe six since he, she has two types of damage, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But uh, yeah, this seems like uh, like GG. I don't think he can turn it around. The Valkyries will just uh, destroy the towers and then there is basically no threat for him. Yeah, he actually the High Stingers attacked at home. But yeah, may maybe he will kill the Swordsmen, but any Valkyries will just destroy the High Stingers with no problem. So not going to change anything. He's actually rich reading with the Valkyries because maybe he was expecting something bigger. Uh, expecting uh, something bigger, yeah. Uh, this is definitely bad. He was waiting with the Harvesters for too long. Losing momentum. He has lots of gold. Or not lots of, but 300 is pretty decent. But he's definitely short on gems. Oh, sorry, I was... Yeah, <laughs> the color actually confused me. Uh, this is not the red one. This is blue enemy and... The Red Fallen is actually Fenrir, so he has lots of gems. Uh, of course he has lots of gems, because uh, Amaterasu is spending all of his gems on Valkyries, so he definitely couldn't have 700 gems. But Fenrir just doesn't have any gold right now. Uh, both players also have 1000 wood, which seems like a total waste of, uh, of workers, but fine. I mean, how he wants to defeat with 6 units. How many Valkyries? There is like nine Valkyries or something. I mean, yeah, the shields are definitely effective here. As you can see, the Ice Peter is almost unkillable. But eventually he just dies and there is just not enough damage. He would need uh, twice the amount of these units. And maybe then he would be able to actually do something. Also seems like he's not like uh, perfectly targeting. Yeah, he's attacking multiple Valkyries advance. Yeah, sending the units there uh, by three or two or something, so just not too effective. Uh, the only thing that could actually save him in this situation, by the way, he has mana for one shield, yeah, 60 mana. Uh, the thing that could save him here is that, uh, is that Amaterasu is not building an expansion, which means even though Fenrir will lose this expansion, he will still not have. Uh, resources disadvantage but the thing that he definitely should have done uh, Fenrir was just accumulating more units behind those towers because the Valkyries couldn't just rush it here and then he could just go there with bigger army and potentially even kill the Valkyries I think it was actually possible because uh, High Spitters and Nightmares are really strong against Valkyries so I think he messed up here a little bit but as you can see, Amaterasu is already building an expansion too, so it's not going to change anything too much, because he will get the resources lead in a while anyways. Yeah, so just destroying the Dark Fortress here, that's going to be a really quick process. Uh, Fenrir making another High Spitter, another Nightmare. We can check the resources, population, yeah, okay, you can already see how he just wasted some units here. And now he's almost 20 population behind, yeah, like 16 or something. Uh, like high, one high stinger, uh, he spotted the expansion, but to be honest, he just cannot do anything with that. He has one more high stinger here, but yeah, he will probably kill the peasants. Actually, he at least slowed it down. But uh, yeah, he just decided to spend some resources on swordsmen. Maybe the summoner will escape if. He doesn't pay too much attention, but yeah, he will just hunt him down with more Valkyries. Now he'll probably be surprised by the towers a little bit, I think. 
he will definitely need to turn around, but the problem is that Fenrir probably just cannot leave this town right now. He don't have enough units for that. And that means that he won't be able to destroy this town hall, so eventually he will just uh, lose on resources. And I also don't think he can build an expansion because uh, I don't think the Valkyries will give him enough time to build towers or anything and he cannot defeat them just with the units. He could potentially build an expansion like somewhere around here or something, but uh, that would take like a, little, a little, really long time and there is a chance that he would be spotted by the flying units or some random running swordsmen. So it's still not too effective. But to be honest, if he keeps going for Valkyries, I think uh, Fenrir can actually just kill it with High Spitters and uh, Nightmares. And unless he gets like a really big uh, resource advantage, which will take some time, uh, he could still actually lose this. Going for a temple, definitely smart, but the, f f uh, the main thing I would do here is to build the uh, Gnome's Workshop and start making some catapults, because that's like the main counter to Hive Spitters and Hive uh, and Nightmares. And uh, of course it will be countered by Hive Stingers, but there is no problem to make like five Swordsmen in front of those catapults, and then uh, he should be fine. We see one, A one AFK or idle peasant here. Building complete, my lord. Maybe he could build a tower, but he's probably not expecting an attack. Already bringing some peasants from the main town. Definitely can bring them from the wood. I don't know why both of them have 1700 wood. This is like uh, quite nonsense. I don't know why you would make so many villagers on wood. Even though there are actually uh, actually just two harvesters here, so I don't know where he get, got it. Maybe from the expansion he was harvesting some wood there, I don't know, but uh, definitely an overkill. Uh, yeah, the Valkyries are injured, so he will just heal them here, but he's also making a uh, priest. Still producing more Valkyries. Uh, zero upgrades, this is a big mistake, I would say. He doesn't have blacksmith, so he cannot upgrade the uh, Valkyries damage. But he can definitely at least upgrade their armor and HP in the Valkyrie Beacon, so I would say this is a really big mistake. We see at least uh, one upgrade for damage on Hive Spitters, uh, but that's also not like something uh, too huge, so... I mean, it's it doesn't really matter, yeah. One upgrade on one side, zero on the other side. Uh, one Swordman scouting this area. Uh, of course, all he needs to do is scout the entrances from the ground because there is no way the Fallen is going to go for flying units now. Or potentially he could go for Stalkers to destroy the Valkyries, but... Uh, I mean, to destroy this you would uh, need quite lots of Stalkers and you still will be damaged by the Phoenixes by a lot. Because they have the Nova Explosion ability. That will definitely damage the Stalkers uh, a lot. We can see 10 Hive Spitters here and 6 Nightmares. And he's actually going for the Secret Expansion as I mentioned earlier that he could do. The question is that... Uh, the question is if Amaterasu is going to explore the map, either with Phoenix, Valkyrie or just a Swordsman, but it's really easy to explore with Phoenixes and overall just any flying units. So he could do it, but I'm not sure if he's going to explore actually. So we'll have to wait a little bit and see. Maybe he's just going straight for uh, for the main town, but it seems like he's going to check this expansion. Because he's expecting uh, Fenrir to rebuild what he lost. But now it depends if he will decide to check the other, uh, other areas. Seems like he's going around, maybe he wants to attack from here, because of course there are no towers. Uh, maybe he doesn't know that, but he can kinda expect it to have no towers uh, back there. He also avoided all the towers in the front. Now is the question, is he going to defeat it with this? I think he actually could, if he if he targets it right and uh, he utilizes all the shields, because as you can see he just shielded all of his units, except like the one high spitter here in the front that is already almost dead. Uh, and now the Valkyries are also flying uh, across the towers. 
definitely getting uh, destroyed a lot. Well, sorry for the Discord sound. Probably just someone wrote me in the DMs. <laughs> uh, try to not do that. Uh, do that during the tournament, of course. I have to open, have the Discord open so I can write the uh, participants to join the game, but I don't know if I can actually mute the DMs. So um, it's just there on the background. I muted the server, of course. Uh, so yeah, the Avalkyrie is retreated. As I said, I don't think it's uh, the right and smart idea to go for more Valkyries. The Fallen can just easily counter them with this army alone. You just need like, I don't know, 8 Nightmares and uh, um, I don't know, 20 High Spitters and he will be fine. Each Nightmare has mana for 3 Frost Shields because it costs 60 mana and you have 200. So you just need to have uh, one third of your army uh, nightmares and the rest can be high spitters. Yeah, so you can have like 20 high spitters, 10 nightmares and to be honest that would maybe kill a full population of Valkyries. Uh, the expansion is finished, building one lightning spire definitely smart but to be honest uh, one lightning spire is not going to save you for a full army of Valkyries. But it would definitely help if like a swordsman ran here so at least something, but the main thing he should focus now on uh, are the harvesters, so making more workers for his expansion. Uh, his main town is definitely running out of gold really quickly, so definitely uh, going to have to do something with that. Of course in both towns, yeah, but uh, the Empire was at, at least harvesting here for some time already, so he should have a resources advantage. Just a small lead, but it's actually as you can see it's like uh, it's like 40 more population uh, captured or used by the Empire. Just a quick spot. Uh, this is actually quite smart because when the <laughs> Nightmares have uh, Frost Shields on autocast, they will just cast it immediately when enemy unit is close and they start attacking it. So if the Empire wanted to actually counter this, he just needs one swordsman, run there, waste all the mana of the nightmares and then just destroy them with the Valkyries. So that would be definitely the smartest idea to do here. Uh, of course if Fenrir uh, was more advanced player, he would not have it on autocast. He would either turn it on autocast uh, right before the, uh, the combat or he would maybe even cast it out, uh, manually but yeah, definitely don't want to have it on autocast when you are not fighting and you are in no danger. Also he should definitely have some scouts here. He had them before but then they died and now he's not making new ones. Uh, seems like Valkyries are maybe going to check this area or maybe he's just attacking the same way he did before. Yeah, seems like that. Uh, already can see some harvesters in the expansion. The army is pretty far, few units here but maybe going to lose his incubator. Some more harvesters, maybe even a soul trap. Yeah, but he spotted him. He's going for the villagers definitely, but they are going to move away and now the Valkyries are totally useless here. They are going to get some hits. But at least they wasted the mana. Now they can just fly away and maybe return after that. Uh, he, could def he should definitely upgrade this uh, to charge the deformator. Also the second one because it uh, shoots on the flying units and also slows them down by like 90% or something is totally broken so he would definitely catch at least like one Valkyrie with uh, each of the deformators and he would kill some units. Uh, going for second vengeance hall, he just doesn't have resources to be honest but uh, yeah maybe he's going to fix that with the expansion really quickly. Valkyrie is still flying around. I'm wondering if he's going to finally check this area. Yeah as you can see he is Actually some rally points and another is here. Yeah, so with shift click he just uh, wanted to check all the expansions. Actually he's another army. That's interesting. But now he's going to spot it. Uh, Fenrir doesn't know about it and he's going to lose his expansion. That is totally unprotected, just one lightning spire. So this is going to be a really big hit. The question is what is going to what is Fenrir going to do with that? He can, I mean, the best thing he could do probably is just attack. But as you can see, here are some pikemen prepared that are going to deal with this army really quickly. And also, if he attacks, uh, 
he might just get his town destroyed by the Valkyries. He actually maybe decided to split his army. Half of, his, half of it is defending and the second half is attacking, which is not a bad idea, but he probably doesn't expect uh, the spike man's here. So he's probably going to be quite surprised. Uh, yeah, so the expansion is destroyed. Uh, and now we'll see the fight. Of course, the shoots are still protecting his units quite well. So he he maybe won't lose any units, yeah, but it will slow him down at least. Maybe he'll lose one high spitter here. Uh, and now the Valkyries will come back and he's not going to kill them with this. He wasted all his mana, or not wasted, he just used it. But now he doesn't have it. And this is just at his home. Uh, I know that he was trying to protect his town because he was expecting the Valkyries to attack him when he attacks. But uh, that didn't really happen and now he just has half of his army here. Maybe actually he's going to defeat him because of course he's going to lose this but he still kills some Valkyries and uh, damages many other ones and he's coming with the rest of his army. Unfortunately he has only four nightmares here so maybe he won't have too many shields. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's doing it really well here with the phoenixes because he's trying to force the frost shields on the units so he don't have to deal with them later when they come uh, when the fallen units come to the valkyries the question is does he have enough of these valkyries to defeat it yeah he has a really big army here i forgot about that so he should be definitely fine he also have uh, bless buff from priests so yeah, I mean, if he took all of his units at once, I think he would have defeated the Valkyries. Unfortunately, he just split the army and now he doesn't have any more resources. He will probably leave the game because his expansion got destroyed. He cannot mine any more resources here and he doesn't have gold for an expansion. Of course, he could just go there with harvesters to another, uh, another mine and uh, bring it to his home. But uh, that would take a long time and he would get destroyed by the Valkyries in the meantime. Uh, so yeah, uh, Amaterasui won the game. Uh, we are just waiting for Fenrir to, uh, to actually leave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no toxicity guys. And yeah, still no upgrades actually on the Valkyries. That quite surprised me because he has lots of them. I don't know if Fenrir had some upgrades in the end, but maybe he did. He did. I think I saw something in the incubator. Uh, so let's check the results. This was uh, the longest game yet, almost uh, half an hour. So definitely interesting. 81 kills from the Valkyries. Actually, basically the same amount of units produced. 52 killed by the Fallen. Largest army, 46. Of course, the Valkyries. Or I mean, overall, just the fallen units take a little bit more population, even though Valkyries also take free, which is a lot. Uh, then we have experience and resources. Yeah, the second base was just a little bit earlier and was not destroyed, so uh, the Empire had a little bit more resources, but it was not uh, anything crazy, so yeah.